Are you getting laptop BSOD when plugged in? Then you are at the right place as we know how to fix the issue. Let's get started. This is the Windows Club. If your Windows laptop shows BSOD when plugged in and charging, the solutions provided in this video should help you. The laptop can crash with a blue screen error whenever users connect it to the charger and turn on the switch. Both software and hardware issues can cause this problem. Here is how to resolve the issue. Let's get started. Method 1. Use another charger. The problem you are facing indicates that there may be some issue with the laptop charger. To check this, connect another compatible charger with your laptop if available and see if the issue persists. If the problem does not occur after connecting another charger, you need to replace your charger. However, the problem can also be with the power cord connected to your charger brick. You can also connect the charger to another wall socket. This will let you know whether the problem is with that particular wall socket. If this helps, you need to call an electrician to repair the wall socket because it can also cause damage to other electronics in your home you connect to that wall socket. Method 2. Check for overheating A BSOD occurs when a computer system reaches a state where Windows can no longer manage to operate it safely. If your laptop crashes after time, you start charging, there can be chances that its temperature rises when it is charging. It can be the cause of this BSOD error. So you need to fix this issue. You can follow this link for details. Method 3. Disable and enable the Microsoft ACPI compliant control method battery driver. Disabling and re-enabling the Microsoft ACPI compliant control method battery driver can also help to fix this issue. Here is how to do this. Open the device manager using Windows Search. You can also follow this link. Expand the batteries branch. Right-click on the Microsoft ACPI compliant control method battery driver. Select Disable device. Once done, restart your computer and then open the device manager. Now, right-click on the same driver and select Enable Device. Now connect the charger and see what happens. Method 4. Reinstall the battery driver. A corrupt battery driver can also cause this issue. Reinstalling the battery driver can help in such cases. Before proceeding, create a system restore point, follow this link. Uninstall both the drivers under the batteries branch in the device manager. For this, open device manager and expand the batteries branch. Then right click on the battery driver and select the uninstall device option. Follow as shown to finish the process. Once done, restart your computer. Windows should automatically install the missing or uninstalled drivers on restart. Follow this link to install the latest version of the battery driver. Method 5. Switch your power plan to high performance. Switch your power plan to high performance and see if it helps. If the high performance power plan is not available in the control panel, you can restore it and other missing power plans by executing the required commands in the elevated command prompt window. You can follow this link for details. Method 6. Update or reinstall your graphics driver. One possible cause of this issue is the corrupt graphics card driver. You may have two graphics cards, integrated and dedicated. And your laptop switches automatically from the integrated to the dedicated graphics card when connecting to the charger. In that case, the problem might be with the dedicated graphics card driver. Update or reinstall the graphics card driver and see if it works. You can also proceed with the clean installation of the graphics card driver. For this, you can use the DDU utility. You can follow this link for details. Method 7. Update BIOS and Chipset Driver while updating BIOS and chipset drivers, make sure that the power supply is not terminated because this can make your motherboard malfunction. 
You can follow this link to update BIOS. Method 8. Check your motherboard. If the problem still persists, there might be an issue with your motherboard and it needs to be repaired. So, you can contact a professional laptop repair technician for further support. So that's it. Subscribe to the Windows Club for all your tech solutions related to Windows. Thanks for watching.